Heroes. And Villains of Ends Week. I am Michael. And I like to play games. They call me Zach. And today we're going to venture outside of our own borders and visit Italy. Yep. And we're going to butcher a whole bunch of pronunciations today. You guys are watching Board Game Centric. It's not in the box today. What's up, guys? We are bringing you Venture from Italy by Bizarre Games. Yep. Giuseppe and Nicole. Hopefully, hopefully we pronounce your names right. Because, obviously, English we can't do either. Nope. Negative. Venture, the card game, is a card game, obviously, <laughs> where three to six players take on the role of a scientist. Yep. One of six major sciences, um, and each one has their own unique abilities. The abilities are actually really cool and really powerful. Uh, yeah. One of them, I think, they, I don't know. I'm not going to say it because I don't want to mess it up. But one of them allows you to copy the abilities that someone else has on the table. Yep, and another one lets you to, uh, allows you to double the effects of the card to hit two people at one time. There we go. So, the game is played over the course of four rounds. Each player starts with a hand of five cards. And the first round, you draw a card from the action deck. It has a really cool light bulb icon in the corner. If the light bulb is on, you suffer the effects of that card to yourself. If the light bulb is off, you get to do the effects to yourself because they can be positive, or you get to play them against other people or keep the card and play it later. Yep, and just because it says to suffer the effects to yourself does not mean it's a bad thing. They, no. There are some really good beneficial cards in there. Some, some are beneficial. Mm -hmm. So the main point of the game is to complete missions, which are simple things like Mary Curie's nobles, uh, and all you need is a measuring flask, and it's got a little bit of info on the bottom to tell you about that uh, type of mission. Every card, with the exception of your roll card, will have a little bit of a uh, little history snippet on there. It's pretty neat. It is pretty cool. There are also very cool Easter eggs hidden in all these cards. Um... Things like Batman, for sure. I've seen Batman on a couple cards. He's on a few of them, yeah. There's a couple Doctor Who references, and even some Breaking Bad references, if you've seen Breaking Bad and you know. Yep, just keep your eye out for them. They're in there. And there are tons of other ones, too. So those are the ones we get to share with you guys, so it should be pretty cool. Um, after completing all four, you complete four missions, and you win the Nobel Prize. So the game consists of starting, like I said, with drawing the first card, light bulb on, you suffer, light bulb off, they can suffer where you keep the card. That is then followed by doing two actions, which are playing action cards from your hand. There are a couple different kinds of cards. We won't get into that. Mm -hmm. That's okay. And then you can also play a utensil card, which is the flask, hourglass, calculator, um, quill. And that's generally towards the end of your turn unless a card you've played says otherwise. Yep, that's completing a mission. And then you draw two cards. And discard down to five. And discard down to five. Or keep them if you don't have enough. If you don't have five cards, you just, okay, cool, we'll draw two. And there nice. you go. And so then play, just pass around the table until you're done, until someone completes all four. The best part are your action cards. It allows you to get a little bit strategic mm -hmm. and start stealing completed missions from other people, rearranging things around, um, playing more than one uh, utensil card, which normally you can only do one a turn. Yep, or they can block your opponents from blasting your hand. They can redirect some of the negative effects to someone off to the side. Perpetrators. Uh, yep, and it deviations. <laughs> deviations. <laughs> There's some great cards in this game. We had a lot of fun playing it. Um, like we said, the more people you have, the easier it was to actually get through the deck for us. We played with just three, and it felt slow. Um, but then we played with four, and that felt like a great number. Of people yeah. to play. Got through the deck where you needed to, where ever, everyone was getting their utensils and it was shifting around the way we wanted it to. Yep. And don't worry if um, most of your utensils are flushed down the drain into the discard pile, the deck will reshuffle and you once can it's even exhausted. Take, you can even take cards from the discard pile. Which There's a lot of cards that do that. Yeah. So the game does get pretty strategic. Um, unfortunately, our copy, like I said earlier, is print and play. So my cut quality isn't the greatest. And if you see any of the cards, they actually say uh, demo on them, but the art on the cards is fantastic. We do. The, I love the I love the art. 
I yeah, think. the the art is amazing, and I, and I especially love how everything's like color coordinated. It just flows really well. Um, so I'll be really excited to get my hands on an official copy of this game at some point when the Kickstarter is over. There you go. Which and, it still has a few weeks to go. And as you just said, as of this video going as we're recording, and hopefully as it's uh, live, you guys can check out the Kickstarter for Venture the Card Game in the description below, and check it out and back it. Make this game actually happen. I'm excited to see it happen. Yeah, yep. It's a good game. Um, like like I always say, throw it in your backpack, take it with you wherever. You're going camping, boom, you can take this game. You know, go to your friend's house, throw it in your pocket. It's all good. It'll fit everywhere. There you go. Final thoughts on this game. If we were to rate it, what would you give it? I would say, like I usually give, um, right now, 8 out of 10. Once the game um, finishes this Kickstarter, I would like to see some clarifications on some card interactions. Uh, some of them get kind of weird. Um, and maybe um, a little bit of update on the English. Because words like deviate and... and uh, Perpetrator. Yeah. Perpetrators. Those it's, will throw you off if you're not used to great, seeing though. those. Those cards were great. Yeah, the, the first time we're like, deviate. I'm like, oh, okay, I get it. But it's just like, whoa. I'm like, That's cool. I'm just... Yeah. I just think some of the card interactions could be there. I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10 also. Um, same reasons. I'm super, super excited to see the quality of the game, see what kind of card stock they actually use for the game. The art looks great, so I'm excited to see that on cards. Uh, especially Schrodinger's Cat. That's my favorite card. Boom. Just want to let you know that. And um, so the rules, I really want to see simplification of some of the card text or maybe a better explanation. Because so, a couple of the cards, it'll say one thing and you kind of look at it, you're like, what What does this mean exactly? Because you played other cards that seem to be more clear. So maybe a little bit more consistency across the board. Mm -hmm. um, and... You know, we'd love to work with Bizarre Games and say, hey, these are the cards we had an issue with, and whatever. Yep. So, overall, great game. overall, 8 out of 10 across the board. Great game. As we said before, you can find it in the description below. Check out their Kickstarter. If you like it, back it, please, even if it's just a little bit and you don't actually want the game. Help them get the game off the ground. As usual, you guys can like, share, and subscribe to these videos and our channel. Hit that bell icon. What up? There we go. And remember, it's all in the box, even though this one came out of our printer. It's from overseas. <laughs>